and welcome back to Music Free Gaming here on YouTube. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. And uh, it's Saturday, y'all. It's a good day. And uh, so, oh, a quick stream announcement. I've been thinking about this. I think I'm going to be um, taking most of this next week off uh, for Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving, I'm definitely going to be off. I think the Saturday, a week from today, I'm not going to stream. I'm still deciding about whether or not to stream on Tuesday. Right now, I'm kind of leaning towards streaming. So remember to subscribe and like and all of that stuff. Turn on the notifications or just join the Discord. <laughs> you know, I know it's what's, what's going on there. Uh, just so you know when things are starting and doing things and all that stuff, right? So, yeah. So that is the fun and excitement. So, oh, yeah, it'll be good. My daughter's home from college this week, so definitely take a little time this week and uh, not stream for, for a little bit. So good, fun stuff there. All right, let's jump into the game. I am going to be back in uh, Going Green finish up some stuff here and we're going to do a lot of decorative nonsense today so that's going to be fun but uh make sure i'm in the right place tell you a little bit about what's going on here in the world and we'll get started okay it's been a couple of days because that's how time works and i've added a few more things to my workshop so I've got an auto crafter, which is cool. Pretty much the only thing I need to use this for at the moment is to create these things, these crushing wheels. We're actually gonna end up needing those here in just a little bit. I've also come around and added a uh, dicing station. So this uses the slicer and I can either give it a knife or an ax and it will strip and peel logs so I get the bark or it'll slice veggies. It's really like a uh, food processor with a conveyor belt. It's all sorts of awesome. And uh, yeah, I think everything else is here. I've done a little bit of first pass at decorating some of these uh, stations. I have one more I need to build, I realized, and that does require the crushing wheels because I don't have a crushing station and I need to be able to crush things. So I think I'm gonna set set something up maybe over here and then we'll get into all of the decorative fun yeah so that's the oh i forgot to bring all of my blocks well almost all of them anyway <sighs> all right so let's get some of this stuff the viridium i end up with a lot of viridium holy cow I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's just, of course, think about that. That's maybe 10 stacks or so. It seems like more when you see the number, but it's really, okay, maybe not quite as much as I thought. Uh, Deep slate, I'm going to need some of these, and I'll need some bricks and stuff as well, but we'll, might as well bring that with me. Okay, nice, and just because... Top off on the Ratatouille. Now, I'm almost certainly going to need a few more shafts. So I've got... I have this handy-dandy toolbox. Which helps a little bit. Okay, bring this out this way. Now, let's figure out where the heck I want to put this. <laughs> That's... That's always the question, isn't it? And I think what I might do is I might lean it towards this side a little. Just to um, maybe give me a little bit more space. So, all right. So if I were to come this way, right, if that were to go there, and then, again, I'm letting some of the decorations determine, oops. I guess I live down here now. I'm letting some of the decorations determine where I'm placing some things for uh, 
you know, because planning is absolutely a thing. So, how do I want to do this? So, I could, thinking I might run it across this way. I don't know if I want to have it stick out over here. I might do. And part of the reason for that is that if I leave more of this space open, it's going to be helpful for when I start uh, loading some more things up over here. So, yeah, let's uh, let's set things up this way. All right, that means I'm going to need to run that. Do I have... I don't have alloys. Ah, I have alloys. Cool. Actually, I might ha even have shafts. <laughs> yes, I do. Let's see how many of these I can fit in the toolbox. Uh, this, uh, that button. There we go. More than I can hold. Perfect. That is just perfect. Let's stick this back in there for the moment. All right. Nice. And I don't need that at the moment. All right, cool. I will need some cogwheels. All right. Let's see where to where to put this thing. So yeah, I think maybe what I'll do is if I'm going to continue this this way, which would make a little bit of sense. This will come like this. So we'll. Continue out, continue this out this way. This will come over here. All right, so now, I think what I'll do is let's bring this in. Yeah, one block and one block and got some dirt here, right? Yeah. Cool. So, we're going to start here. All right. And then. All right. Get ourselves a. Uh, let's see, am I close enough to hit my thing? If I am. That's why toolboxes are nice. You can set them down somewhere and come back to them. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One of these, I've, oh, I don't have any shafts in my inventory. That's why. Okay. I think that's why. Please, can I? There's a way to do this, and I don't remember what it is. Okay. We're going to do it that way. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is a little bit longer of a machine just because just like the mixer it's got a little bit of a deal you got to deal with all right so now that's not where that's going to go in fact it's not where that's going to go at all um oh i should bring my bed over here i'm going to be sleeping on in this area for a little bit so let's let's do that All right. I mean, it's, come on. It's almost night. Give me the, the night this. All right. Cool. So what I'm going to need is let's grab another couple of shafts here. And the first one. First one's going to go here. Oh, I should back this off one. I should back this off probably a couple, I know that I think about it. Because these wheels, <clears throat> excuse me, these wheels are huge. So, I should back off quite a bit, really. Okay. So, yeah, let's back this off. Two. Two. 
I think we'll do it this way. All right, yeah, that'll that'll make sense. Because I do want to have a little bit of space. Ah. Huh. Okay. Okay, okay. I've got some I've got some interesting questions. Let's let's go ahead and grab some belts. Come on. Give me the belts. Am I out of belts? I'm out of belts. Why am I out of belts? I shouldn't be out of belts. Alright. Grab some belts. Thought I had more of them in there, but apparently no. Fine. Fine. I can live with that. Um yeah. Yeah, belts belts are absolutely a fine thing I can have. Um belts. Just add a bunch. Cool. That will work. All right, so we'll add some belts this way. Now, I am, maybe I'm, I'm doing this in the wrong direction. Okay, so I definitely need the crushing wheel, right? Because that's that's a thing. Hey, JS, welcome back. Hope your morning's going well. Okay, so definitely need a crushing wheel. And the... That's not a bad place for it. That's going to give everything happy, feely vibes, I suppose. Um... And then this is going to have to come a decent way. Ouch. All right. And we'll give ourselves some nice. Oops. Here we go. I think that's going to be good. I'll have to double check it. It's been a while since I've dealt with these. And I forgot all of the intricacies of running them with belts. But think that's going to work and then yeah yeah so New York New England all day oh yeah fun that definitely seems like its own special breed of man I would rather not be here this might actually be a little bit no, oh, new oh new Nebraska. It's like it's like New England. Yes, that that's a thing. Nope, you're right. I remember state acronyms. At least, you know, four of them. Fairly fairly certain I remember those four. Maybe. <laughs> okay. So let's Oh, I forgot to bring chests. It's okay. We're good. I'm good. I know what I'm doing. Uh, totally. Chest. Okay. Chests. I'm gonna need. Oh, I need more stuff here. Cool. <laughs> yes, and the Carolinas. I'm good at those. New York, you know. Um. <sighs> All right. Okay. I have a fair amount of oak here today. Just do that. And let's get ourselves now all of our chests. Because, yeah. Awesome. Now it's going to be perfect. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. This one's going to be a little bit funky. Do I want to... I could put the chest here, which would be fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, though I think... I think it's going to look better if I do it this way. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. Makes all the sense. Okay, and we'll suck them in that way. Cool. 
All right, and because I just now made a dark patch, let's put the torch back. Something like that. Okay, cool. All right, so now we'll throw in a couple of... Uh, um, actually, before I put those in, let's make this thing run. Unfortunately, it's a little bit of a challenge just because of the way these things work. Pork chop, egg, and hash browns. Nice. Yeah, I need to sit down and cook up some breakfast here the next uh, day or two. Get it with the whole, you know, meal prep, and I want to actually be able to eat breakfast in the mornings. I mean, oatmeal's good. I, I'm okay with oatmeal, but still. Okay, so let's see. How do I want to do this? I think... This is going to have to change directions, which is okay. So I think I can put that there. So those have to spin in opposite directions, which is its own special challenge. All right. So let's see. I'm going to need some gearboxes, I suppose. Some good stuff on TikTok. Nice. Yeah, Pinterest used to be my go to, but at this point, you know, just not that. Not that. Shoot, I don't think I've logged into Pinterest in a year or more. And I, well, shoot, I deleted TikTok. I, I use it to upload videos. I don't actually watch anything on there. But yeah, there's some good, good videos and things out there. Oh yeah, Pinterest is still a thing. I used to use it a lot for, um, oops, I need a, bunch of those. I also need a crafting table. I used to use it a bunch for um, Minecraft build ideas and things like that, but I haven't used it in forever now. Alright. Cogs, because I'm going to need a couple of those, I think. And let's grab some gear. Oh, right. Gear boxes are stripped. Well, that's fine. I'll just strip all of these. All right, so show you how this thing works too. Oops. Give me my axe, put the axe in there, and the nice thing about doing it this way instead of using the saw is it strips it and I get the tree bark, which is useful for things. So, you know, we'll get ourselves a nice little uh, It's probably faster for me to do it on a uh, cutting board, but this way it doesn't use durability on my axe. All right. And we'll put the axe back up there. All right, nice. And let's see. I do still have some andesite over here too. Cool. Oh, I need to, uh, okay, I've got some things I need to do with this, too. But, it's okay. I'll get to that here in a minute. Let's go ahead and just throw that there. All right, and go. All right, we'll let that do things. All right, I need to make gearboxes. Awesome. Actually, let's... Go ahead and craft up a third one because I might need that too. Oops, wrong. I did that wrong. Okay. I now know how this stuff works. I really do. It doesn't look like it, but I totally know how all this works. Okay. Ah. <laughs> yep. Gearboxes are fun. 
All right, so now this is gonna have to rotate. These have to rotate in opposite directions, and then the uh, belt has to be moving in the in the right direction as well. So that could be its own special breed of fine. Let's do this this way. It's gonna take that one out and slap in a gearbox. Okay. So that'll get power to the belt. So we got that going. Now, these two are gonna have to, as I said, spin in opposite directions. So how do I want to do that? There are a couple of ways, I suppose, but. Oi, could we, um... there, let's do it that way. Uh, hmm. Okay, nope, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. It's all good. Alright, let's see now. Uh, if I run... Suppose I could run it... Oops, that's... Can we, like, go the correct way? Thank you. Alright, suppose I could run this this way. Let's grab a gearbox, which I'm out of. Cool. Didn't think I was going to need that many, but I'm wrong. Yeah, we need a bunch of those. Okay, and let's craft up some gearboxes. Ah, oh, we sneeze a couple of times, which is also important. Uh, okay. Vertical goes there. All right. And... Oh, you know what would be really cool? So if that were vertical and facing the right way. Awesome. So is that... Okay, yeah. So things are going... I think this is actually spinning in the wrong direction. All right. I'll worry about that in a minute. Let's just... Uh... Slap this down here. All right. This is really stupid, but... Oh, it's really stupid because I, I would actually rather have all of these feed off the same power switch. Okay, so we'll do it... Let's see, if I put... Because I need a clutch in here somewhere, so... Do it this way. All right, so that'll go there. Pair of giants. Okay. Cool. And all right, I need more gearboxes. So many gearboxes. All right. Cool. I can make all. All right, and slap that in. Now, are they spinning the right direction? No, they are spinning in the same direction. Oops, which means I need to do that. All right, so let's see if this actually works. Do I have anything crushable? I think so. I think I can crush... No, I can crush gravel. Let's go get some gravel. Oh, yeah, I need to... I, I'm still working without a, an oven or a good stove, so... Turns out cooking with hot plates is great and all, but isn't great if you've got to deal with a large pot of stuff. Yeah, cobble works too. The, the Oops, that's not what I wanted. The advantage with gravel is that um, it turns into sand, and I need sand, so we're going to be uh, having fun with that. All right, so let's see if I put that in there. 
Yes, 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 yes. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to, that's gonna go in. Wonderful. And then this is gonna go out. Also wonderful. Cook with an electric skillet. Yeah, that makes sense. Cause yeah, I just, that yeah, makes all the sense. Yeah, because how much power do you have? Well, not as much as I would like. All right, so that's going to go there. This is going to come out. All right, so I need a clutch, which I didn't bring with me because that would have made sense. And some redstone and a lever and all of the, all of the goodness that comes with uh, an off switch. All right, so we'll craft a lever. Clutch. All right, and redstone. Perfect. I, I might have to actually spend the resources and give myself a uh, connection to my crafting grid over here somewhere, or my storage grid. Okay, yeah. Somewhere around 120 amps, but 12 volts. Yeah, right. Nope, that makes sense. All right, so what I'm going to do here is let's pop up this way. All right, I think what I can do is if I take this out, put the clutch in here. Can we like not do that? Okay, thank you. Uh, clutch goes in there. All right, so next I need to stick a lever. All right, so lever is gonna go there. And then I think what I can do is if I were to just stick redstone on top of that, that might shut it all off. Yes, yes it does. Ha, ha. <laughs> wonderful. I love it when things work. All right, and I what I could do is even throw a little glass or something on here. Okay. So here's my little crushing machine, and this is going to be great. Ah, get to start that over again. So here's my little, little crushing machine, and this is going to be great because I can just throw in some gravel. It all gets crushed. It can become sand and flint and clay. Cool. So I wonder if I dropped something else in there accidentally. In any case, it doesn't matter. I now have a nice way of crushing up anything that needs to get crushificated, which I am thrilled with. And then I can turn it off. Awesome. 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 Cool. Well, I think that is the last of the equipment that I need. Let's uh, get with the decorative nonsense. Okay. Decorative nonsense, ahoy. Yeah, so we'll pull this out this way. Now, I have no idea what this room is gonna look like overall. I have some general ideas and thoughts, but that's all they are. They're sort of vague images in my, in my wee little mind here. This is gonna come this way. I think what I'll do is we'll path up like this. And yeah, I could. We'll, we'll see what happens over here, but for now, this is going to be kind of okay. I'm kind of thinking too that what I should do is just go straight here. Yes, it's going to narrow up that one that one path there a little bit. Oh, I'm out. Of, okay. Cool. Then let's go ahead and you know what? Let's grab some. We'll just put the alloy in there. 
and maybe something else. But once upon a time, I knew how I like to organize these things, and I'm just forgetting. All right. So we'll put the toolbox in there. Cool. Everything else can go in here. All right. Let's grab some deep slate, depth slate. That's, uh, I think that's somebody else's problem. Let's see, I think that will, that'll do it for now. I may do some other things with it, but for now, let's go ahead and I'm gonna need some tiles. That much I do know. And I'm gonna need diorite. Right, let's go and grab the slabs because I'll be using those for the floor and probably a little bit more. All right, so cut slabs and cut polished slabs. Okay, excellent. Oh, my bed's over here and it's dark. All right. Yeah, so this is going to be its own special breed of interesting. Now, I should also maybe think about bringing it this way as well. And decorating in here a little bit. So this is definitely going to have to come out because that's where I'm going to be putting in, at least in the future, I'm going to have more steam engines and stuff coming in this way. So... That's gonna have to not be there, so I've got room for those. So I think what I'll do is let's go this way. All right, and bring this like this. Now, if I continue kind of what I've been doing up to this point, let's go and bring that like that. Um, I think what I'm going to want to do is uh, make this two blocks wide. I think that'll that makes sense because I've got I have a an idea of things I want to do with this or a vague idea of a s sort of a style, and it's two blocks on the outside because I think what I want to do is run glass right here like along the outside but I want to continue a deep slate path here so you know it keeps things sort of separate but also fun or something okay so that means this is going to go here well I've got this happening this way I'm fairly certain I need to run this like that Okay, so this will go this way. Hey, Lauren, welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a fabulous day. It's great to have you here. Okay, so this will go, and I think it'll connect up over here. Yes, that'll, I'm sure that'll be great. Or something. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to continue this sort of, line said I'm going to be tapping in some glass or something along here so and then the question is I guess I need a little bit of space coming out this way as well right just because I need space so I can come in and use the slicer yeah I think this will make I don't know is this going to be decoratively cool I, I don't know but I kind of feel like I'm going to need a little extra space over here. And I might do... Because if I bring this out three blocks, I could actually build out something that covers that mess. Uh, like I could build a rotational speed controller and just not have most of that mess. <laughs> That's why they exist, after all. 
Yeah, I, th I think if I'm going to continue my uh, basic designs and th stuff here, I really should expand this out this way just a touch. Four and five. Yeah, and so basically bring this this way. Oh, you know what I could do? And this could be interesting, I suppose, is I've got some water wheels here, okay? And they're great, and I'll probably leave them there because I'm lazy and don't want to move them. But what if I build this out and build in another... I could just fill this with large water wheels. Connect them into this system here. That, I think, is... I think that might actually look really cool. So, okay. I'm I'm down with that. I like things that look cool. And I'll be it will definitely give me enough power for all of the uh running the pumps and stuff for the uh for the steam plant at least for a while. Okay, so yeah, so this is going to come this way. How far over do I need to go? All right, so this will come in like that, but this is all going to come back that way, but I don't know. I kind of feel like I need a little bit of something else happening here, but I'm not entirely sure what, but something else. All right, so that's going to go like this. Yeah, I think some glass blocks probably some gray glass blocks here would make this look kind of nice and just sort of <clears throat> fill all of this in for me question is what's going to happen on the outside so maybe that's a maybe that's a problem for future me let's uh let's get the rest of the floor in at least for this section of the build. And yeah. Oops, that's the wrong block. And yes, this bit of uh, walkway does narrow a little bit between this and whatever, whatever is happening over here. Something is going to happen over there. And it's going to be great, but I don't know what. I do know... But this is should go away. At least right up to here. Yeah, because this is going to become that wall. Yes, okay. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit of uh, shape here for this factory. And I think it's going to look really cool when it's done. But... Oh, yeah. And I don't know how all this is going to go, but something cool is going to happen here anyway. Um, also, let's maybe record some of this. I'm not sure I really need to record all of the floor, but we're going to anyway. Okay, so that's going to go there like that. That means this is going to go here. Because checkerboarding stuff is cool. And, of course, then on the alternate side. All right. And then we fill in. Oh, man. You know, I'm kind of excited for Thanksgiving. You know, it's uh, not always one of my most exciting exciting and favorite uh, holidays and stuff, but I'm kind of excited for it this year. It's kind of fun. My daughter's home from college for, for the week. So that's cool. It's always nice when I get to uh, get to see my kids. Lighting is going to be an issue in this build. I can see that now. Figure something out, something out for that. But 
yeah, it's just... I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've had so much... So much hard going on. We'll see yours till next weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it's just one of those things, like, I don't know if it's just because I've had so much going on in my life that I'm taking these... These little joys, you know? Like, apple pie is better than pumpkin? I'll agree with that. I like a good apple pie. Oh, we had... So we have an apple tree. And I'm also out of stuff. So we have an apple tree in our yard. And every year, every couple of years, it puts out fruit. So we harvest the apples. Which is fun and exciting. And last year, we put up half gallons of apple juice. Which is good in and of itself, but heated up with some uh, with the right spices, and you get yourself a nice hot apple cider type dealy bob, and oh, it's so tasty. My problem is I can't drink it, or dr can't drink a lot of it, because my body does not like apple juice, which makes me sad. <laughs> I love apple juice. I love apple cider. All of those delicious apple-y things. And my body says, oh yeah, go ahead and drink a glass of it. After that, you're going to be suffering. Which again is sad because I love apple stuff. Like I do... Um, was the other day I did sort of an apple pie oatmeal for breakfast. It was, uh, it was oatmeal and with some homemade apple jelly because, again, the aforementioned apple tree. And, uh, and some, all of those lovely pumpkin pie spices. All right, for those of you who are into pumpkin spice, whatever. Yeah, all of that goodness. All right, so this is going to go here. There we go. Just a matter of finding the pattern again. And yeah, it it made a really really tasty oatmeal. Which is good cuz oatmeal in and of itself is really boring. <laughs> okay, I think get most of this in. Yeah, see, this floor is is looking really nice. It's one of those things like, oh, diorite is so ugly. And yeah, the vanilla diorite it can be hard to use. Oh. But sometimes you get some nice, uh, nice little mod that, that sort of softens the diorite. And you've got a really nice tile. But yeah, Thanksgiving is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me this year because, as I said, our oven doesn't work. And we've got somebody who's supposed to be coming out to take a look at it today. Uh, I think they're, I don't know exactly when, but sometime today. And hopefully it's something that's repairable because I don't know that I actually, how much uh, money I have to actually replace an oven if it uh, totally breaks on me and probably no matter what else happens if it's repairable or not I'm not sure it's going to be available for Thanksgiving so so yeah that's going to be a little bit of a challenge so well yeah exactly see I think all of the electronics are shot I think something, we've got an electrical short because uh, we were getting that lovely burnt electronic smell whether we, uh, yeah, I said DIY, DIY stuff is not my jam. I did take electronics when I was in school, but I realized I didn't like it much, so... <laughs> 
we'll see how it goes. But yeah, we got lovely burnt electrical smell when we use the oven, when we use the stove tops. It's like, yeah, this is bad, so. And I might end up replacing some of this with uh, some of the deep slate as I end up building things out here, but. Go ahead and get all this in place. Now, what to do here? Um, which is always an interesting question. Um, how do I want to handle the rest of this build out this way? Obviously, I've got to come out and get around the crusher wheel there. So... All right, let's go ahead and just build this this way. And then, so we'll come out here. Now what I could do, so I've got to get past the wheel. So I'm sort of at this area right here. All right. So as I said, problem for future me, but let's go ahead and at least get all of this in place. But yeah, I'm not even, so right now, we're just trying to find out, is this, how much is it going to cost to actually do repairs if we need to go that route? All that good stuff. It's kind of sad. I have, <laughs> I have a spare oven. It's just up in, it's just at my dad's place in Denver, and it kind of needs to stay there for a little while. So, that's, uh. <laughs> Theoretically, it's like, oh, hey, um, maybe we could bring this, bring this back from, from Denver and have, uh, and just use that for the, for the, for our oven. And, but sadly, I am lacking all of those things. I don't want to have to. I, I might have. I have friends with pickups. I might be able to. Do something with that. The stove was acting up. Oh, just one of the switches on the... Okay, right. Oh, fun. Yeah, sometimes it's really easy to... Uh, oh, this, is, this is repairable. We can do that. But, yeah, I think what I can do is I can put in wall here. Those aren't going to, like, I can put something up like that. Sure, the crushing wheel clips through the block, but it doesn't actually do anything to the block, so be okay with that. Yeah, see, I'm kind of hoping it's not, not going to be ridiculous, but... Um... This is an interesting question. Let's let's go ahead and bring this out this way. Okay, we'll, we'll do this this way, and I'm hoping that uh, I can make something work here. Yeah, because if I just come out this way and give it a nice little be a nice little angle here. The window's going to come, it'll turn, and it'll go this way, and then I'll stop at uh, a wall here or something. Okay? I think that'll work. I'll, I'll kind of see what this is. Fix all that stuff? Nice. Uh, I, I know I've got some friends at church, too, who probably can probably be helpful with that, too, but Let's see, how do I want to deal with this? All right, so for the moment, see, I think I have all the floor in. I have all the floor in. Let's, uh, okay, cool. Stop that recording. Nice. So, let's see. How do I want to deal with the rest of this? I guess part of my 
problem or part of my question is how much do I want to run uh, stuff and equipment out this way? I kind of like the idea, actually. Um, now, I was, and I am planning on sort of filling in under here. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely look that up. <sighs> the the expensive part is typically labor anyway. But we shall see. All right, so yeah, I kind of like the idea. If I set all of this up and then do something, right? Lots of lots of something is going to happen here. I'm I'm fairly confident in the something. But if I run right, I've got all of this, and then what I could do is perhaps start dealing with factory stuff. Like the all of the food processing, right? Uh, I think it was someone local. I don't know. My wife made the arrangements, so fairly certain. There are a couple of rep appliance repair places in town, so. I think that might be it. There might be a couple. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so if I were to... Hang on, let's free cam up here for a minute. All right, because I've got space. All right, so this is my workshop of all of the stuff I'm doing by hand, right? Which is cool. Also, I should probably take this out. Okay, and probably this. And so I'm kind of, in some ways I'm making the yeah, all of the deep slate is sort of warning lines. I could actually put... Oh, no, that's not right. I could actually maybe put in some yellow, so it's, say, something else, but... Like, so it's actually warning tape or something like that, but... I think that's good. All right, so we've got all of this happening out here. Nice, and then, yeah, I could do, I could do all sorts of things if I got really creative about it. The, yeah, I don't know exactly how I want this all to work, but, <sighs> yeah, see, this is the fun, where you've got, um, you're setting up a factory, knowing the output is almost more important than knowing the input. Because with the when you've got the output sorted out, it kind of helps you know where is everything going to go and it helps you lay out your factory so you know where your space is. But it's interesting because I've got all of my food production is happening up there, right? All of my farms and stuff. In fact, I kind of need to rearrange a couple of them, I think. But my, my food production is happening up there. I'm going to have the animal production happening sort of over here. Um, so, right, so all of that's gonna come that way. Hmm. All right, for now, I might just leave this side, I may just wall this side in with the thought that maybe I can end up tearing it out later. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna bring this this way. Okay, and I think what the plan here is gonna be is I'm gonna sort of square off this room a little bit and just leave some open space, okay? Having a little bit of void space is not a bad thing. Just like, oh yeah, here's, there's room here. Right, and sort of take that approach. And then, yeah, if I want to knock out a wall, right, and add a little bit more 
something, we can do that. But for now, well, because this is the outer edge of the building, we're doubling, or at least, yeah. Yeah, outer edge of the building. We'll, call, we'll go with that. <sighs> first repair as a new uh, homeowner. Oh, first repair. Gotcha. It's like repaid. What the? Yeah, okay. It's the kitchen sink. Yep. All right, nice. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And I said, I may not, I may not use it. We'll kind of see as I'm, I've got a couple more things I have to get done as uh, sort of almost prep work for the factory and things I'm going to need, right? I need a, I need to produce glass and I need to produce, um, oh, well, mostly glass. <laughs> But then I need to sort of figure out where all of the, um, where things are going. Oh, andesite. That's the other thing I need to to uh, add to my production queue here. Because andesite production will help me get um, all of the create mod gear that I need to to build stuff. It's one of the things that really limits me. Um, brass is an issue too, but, you know, not as much of an issue as it could be. So, yeah. All right. Nice. So, I think we've got ourselves a fairly okay area. Let's go ahead and take that out. Yeah, autocorrect is a thing. It's fine, right? All right. There was a. Uh, there used to be whole websites dedicated to uh, people's autocorrect fails. Those were, those were fun for a while. DYAC and things like that. Okay, grab that. Okay. Yeah, picking that up is just really convenient because now I can pull all this floor out. Yep, and I'll just continue this, and we'll deal with this wall here a little bit. Not sure how this is all going to look or or anything like that, but well, we're going to just tap in here and see what we can do. I think something good is going to come from this. Now, this wall, it's, uh, it's the other side of my kitchen, so... We'll see how that goes, but. Yeah, my problem sometimes isn't autocorrect. It's the fact that I don't type well. <laughs> and uh, I'll look at some of the things I'll post occasionally. And it's like, yeah, why did this get edited in Discord? It's because, oh yeah, my typing was atrocious. Okay, we'll take all that out. Wonderful. All right, so now, whatever that block is, goes there. It's polished, it looks like. Yeah, it's polished. Okay, and then our regular cuts. Yeah, we'll just pop this right in here like that. Were there a lot of the ways delays for the book? Um. Yeah, it's not too bad. Actually, before the the whole editing process, um, I went through and did a, a proofread and got all my typos and stuff sorted out for the most part um, before it got to my editor. Okay, that's not a lot of diorite, but all right, we'll make it work. Because, yeah, the, the idea is that what I would give them would be a pretty solid second draft, if you want to look at it that way. 
so that, uh, you know, what, what made it to the editor was, uh, fairly coherent. <laughs> I'm actually not a bad writer, I just don't type well. Or, more to the point, typos abound. Okay, so that's going to go there. I'm going to leave the iron block, because that's a good, um, just a good indicator in case I ever do have to move that. The iron block is definitely a, oh yeah, this is, something else is going to go here. Now, the, the biggest delays from my book were um, the tech issues. That was the part that took the longest was, okay, got to get all the labs set up, test all the code, make sure that all works, you know. Okay, I think we're going to take this as well. Just to make this sort of uh, symmetrical. Oh, but that was that was fun. The editing, the, the proofing and all that good stuff. Wasn't too bad for the most... Whoa, right. Yes, of course. Water sources. Cool. All right, I will figure that out in a minute. Let's just get the floor in here, and then I'll... Right. Water sources. Because that's my sink on the other side of that wall. Okay. All right. Figure out something. With more cobble deep slate. Yeah. But no, I, I actually write reasonably well, says the guy complimenting his own writing. Um, it's just, I'm, I'm not fast at it. Oops. Oh, I'm gonna grab some copper. Nice. I'm going to just toss that in the smelter. Okay. Automation is cool. Now, the part that was really bad was when I was doing the video series. Because that series was... Well, the video... Oh, yeah. The video production was a pain. And... Now, it was a little bit easier because, hey, I had all the tools. I just hate reading. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah, see, my problem when I was doing the videos was, okay, I had all the tools, and that was great because I, hey, I had OBS. I had all the microphone. I knew how to record, right, all of this good stuff to, to do the demos and things, but... Turns out, uh, you gotta read it all correctly the first time. And that's was not nearly as as simple as it could have been. I do that. Okay. So this is gonna come out this way. Alright, so what I'm gonna need is looks like some deep slate brick wall, I think it's gonna be happening over here. Um, I can't dig into this wall any because my kitchen is there, so. But we're going to continue this. So, let's go ahead and grab the deep slates. Right, I've got a bunch of this wall already, which is great. I'm going to need more of it, I'm sure. Yeah, stone cutter. Deep slate brick. It's polished brick wall. There we go. Oh yeah, professional, everyone flubs up a little bit, but for a recorded series, it's like, in a lot of ways, it was like doing a an audiobook. Um, gotta, gotta get it right. And, you know, most of it was, wasn't hard, it's just, said, when I, uh, when I stream and stuff, if I screw up something else, okay, it's fun. It makes a fun clip or, you know, correct myself and move on. But 
Yeah, doing all the audio is definitely a, an interesting challenge. All right, so I need to get the, oh, the crimsite. Let's get that. All right, the cream sites. There we go. Probably grab another stack for the pillars. That's not the right thing. Awesome. Yeah, throw that there. Oh, and I don't need to be carrying around my drill. Just put that away. All right. All right, so these need to be at least five blocks high to deal with the rest of, or to match the rest of the uh, layer here. So, two, three. Cool. Okay, four, five. So that's, that's kind of where things are going. I need to get some, um, oh. Well, there's a torch right there. Okay, cool. So I don't have to worry about lights. I do need to get some other stuff, some regular deep slate, I think. Okay. Now that was that was only there because I needed some cheap storage, so I could put my drill there. That would make some sense to uh store that right there. All right. So Oh yeah, this is going to be ugly as all heck. Nice. What I might want to do then, um, I can, can I make that bigger? Do I have space to make this bigger? I think I do. Yeah. If I make that bigger, this is going to be all sorts of nicer. But yeah, it was good being able to sit down and record all of the uh, all of the stuff I needed to to do was pretty straightforward. And said I because I already had the mic set up and all of that. Said it was some of that was was easy, but um, yeah, I'm gonna need a bunch. Heck, there was one point my editor. And I had a meeting, it was, which of course was at 10 o'clock at night because they were in India. But my editor calls me and, or we set up a meeting and have this video call and says, you know what? And he's asking me, he's like, okay, how does your sound, why do you sound so good? We've got, apparently they had other people who were recording who were having issues getting their sound quality up and... We were using the same microphones, so it's like, what can, what can we do here? Oh, right. Yes, no, this is going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Yeah. And it turns out most of their problems were, uh, were actually more along the lines of, um, take that out. They had the gain on their mics wrong and stuff like that. Okay. Why did that not work? Um. Oh, okay. That didn't work because I don't have enough vaults. That would explain it. It's a good explanation. Not uh, the one I'm looking... Oh, nope. Not the one I'm looking for, but definitely good explanation. All right, so I need two more vaults. All right, and that's the drop zone for the villagers, which that's all blocked off for the moment, so we're okay. All right, let's go craft up a couple more vaults and should be able to block things in. All right, um, barrels. Well, actually, we need slabs, aren't I? Oh, no, I've got slabs. Cool. All right, so let's grab a couple of stacks here. Let's see if I can get some more barrels. 
but yeah, so that was nice. So here I am recording seconds, capturing my my video, doing, uh, it's like, oh, here's this example. So I've got a little three second clip of running this <laughs> command. Oh yeah, it was, it was fun. But not worth the money I got paid for it, but still fun. Glad I did it. Not going to do it again, but I I am glad I did it. Seriously, unless you're writing uh, the most popular thing ever, writing is not worth the effort. Okay. Cool. So the next thing I need to do then is let's grab some cobblestone. Oh, I put away all the cobblestone. Because, yeah, that makes sense. Just raid that from here. Cool. Um... Right, because this is the drop shoot for the villagers. Okay. Nice, and I'm sure they're going to be very happy continuing to plummet as necessary. So now, I do need to get a little bit of something happening here. And I actually need to come up one block. All right, ah, miss my tools. That's gonna, that's a theme that's gonna come up a lot. You know, I miss having good tools. I haven't spent the time to grind out my uh, librarians for all of the uh, trades and stuff that I need. That'll happen eventually, but today is not that day. Maybe tomorrow. I have a bunch of videos I want to watch, so that's probably going to be when that happens. All right, so I'm thinking, yeah, so this is going to come this way. One, two. Five? Nope, that's... All right, I need to go get the polished die, right? Yep. Oh no, it's absolutely an experience thing, right? I'll I'll tell you. Said it was. That was said. It was one of those experiences. I'll I'll never trade it. I'm glad I had the opportunity. Um, but it's a lot of work. But being able to to pull a book off the shelf that's got your name on it is crazy. Right? Just, you know, you, you think about that. It's like, holy cow, I, I, here's a thing, and I wrote the thing, and wow, this, this is definitely a thing. Okay. Okay, this is not symmetrical, but I think it's going to be uh, asymmetrical in a good way. I think what I think is how this is going to work out. Um, I need the polished. Thank you. All right. So the polished is going to come up here. You know, it was surreal when I went to Amazon and I searched for the book and found, oh, look. <laughs> yep, there it is with my name on it. And that that's just wild. <laughs> You know, so those types of things. It was definitely an experience. I thought about writing a book um, for very at various times over the years. When I was um, back when I was working at an, at an ISP, um, we had a we were using a mail server, it was the the courier mail server. One, two, three, four, five, and there were a lot of questions that had would come up in, in IRC about, oh, how do you set this up and how do you do that and, and this, that, and the other, right? And I got, I was seriously tempted to write a book on how to use the courier mail server. And, you know, it would have been the same thing. I'd have been writing for six months and, you know, the pay would have been lousy, but, you know, 
on the other hand, you know, it would have been, that's not the right block. It would have been really cool to do and to, to see that, to uh, have that out there. So, you know, more power to all of those writers out there or want to be writers because, you know, that I heard once the difference between a writer and a non-writer is that a writer writes. Okay, that's not bad. It's a little bit funky because we get the texture there. Um, actually, what I should do, let's see if I've got, I've gotten the way of glowstone. I don't like glowstone as a block, but if I don't have to see it, it works great. Okay, I've got some. I also have villagers, so I can go uh, buy some more. I'm planning on lots of hidden light sources in this build. Okay, so let's take this out and let's see what my light is doing here. The light is not great. So what I'm going to do. Yeah, see, like it's dark there is let's duck in right here. Grab some of the glowstone. Okay, now glowstone or actually walls. I should say, are transparent to light. I know, you look at that, it's like, yes, obviously the solid wall is transparent. So that makes all of the sense in the world. But yeah, that's because Minecraft. And uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Now, what to do here? Because we've got the vault, and that's not going anywhere. So, hmm. I could, see I've got this here too, so I don't really want to mess with that too much. Um, let's see, what do I do here? Most of it's just pretty straightforward. Okay. Walls and corners and things. All right. Well, that's definitely a thing. Um, yeah. Also, let's put the torch back here. Yeah, some of this area is going to be really interesting to get lights in. Oh. Oh, yeah. Got some. Got some issues here I need to clean up. But, okay. All right. So, let's just see. I should do something a little fancy there, I suppose. That So the vault needs to be there. But I could... I could put trap doors over it, and then... Okay, that's definitely a possibility. Right, I could take something along those lines. So if I were to... Let's do this. So that's going to come down there like that. Okay? Cool. And then, in fact, I think I'll put one right there behind that too, so that you can, since you can see through it, we'll just make that solid. Nice. And then take some walls here. And I think what I'm going to have to do just to make the walls do what I need to is bring them across like this. Yeah. And I'll probably come in here with a little bit of light, too, but. All right, let's get some. In fact, right. Um, oh, the fences do not attach to glowstone, but that's okay. Hello again, Jed. Welcome, welcome. How's it going, man? I hope things are going well with you. Okay. Birch trap doors. I have almost none. Cool. All right. Now trap doors. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Trap doors. That might be good. Going well. I'm glad to hear that. That is excellent. All right. Trapped doors. Yeah. This I think is going to make this. Look, uh, at least 
marginally better. Yeah. Okay, yep, that's going to do a little bit better. Only issue is finding more peeps, huh? Easter. Easter's the time for peeps. That's... That looks really stupid. Um, yeah. Let's get some... Let's go ahead and get some back in there. Yep. Yep, you can get the nice, uh, yeah, chicken peeps, or you can get the, uh, okay, get them in rabbit flavor. You know, that's always fun, too. Okay, that's not too bad. Would be nice maybe with a different thing here, but I think that'll work out okay. Yeah, all right, it's fine. I'm not going to stress about it too much. Let's uh, continue on. Two, four, five. All right, um, hey, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to need some glass. So, just grab this glowstone here. Do I just want one? Yeah, one should be enough. The part of me that says, hey, everything should be symmetrical, kind of wants a second one there, but I think we're okay. But I'm going to need some more glass, which means I'm going to need more sand. And... I don't have a lot, but I do have a fair amount of gravel. So let's go ahead and get that crushing, and then we'll run that through the smelter. And that should that should give me the glass I need to work this project. Um, yeah. Okay, so turn that on. This is the input. Gravel. Sweet. All right, let that do its thing. Um, yeah. Also, I think, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Make a sugar cane farm like that? Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. So right about there. I'm just going to put another pillar in just to break up this wall a little bit. But, <laughs> hey, no worries. Yeah, it's, right now, there the sugar cane is just decorative, but it looks cool. I do need to get, set up a sugar cane farm because I need sugar. I also should set up a honey farm because I need honey, but honey gets sugar too, so I may uh, not do the sugar cane farm. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. All right, so this is going to come up this way. Two, five. And I'm going to break things, which is also cool. Probably, I'm probably going to want to do a little bit of something around that pillar. I don't know what yet, but something is probably going to be on my list of things to do. Made a waterfall with honey blocks? I have not. At least if I'm... I mean, I've made uh, bubble elevators using honey blocks. Two, three, four, five. You know... Actually, let's... Get... Oh, whoa! Fall down. Get the recording on. Glad I'm recording this part. <laughs> But, you know, with those two, three, four, five. Do I have... Oh, yes. Cool. Cool, yeah. So this is going to go this way. Uh, and just run this all the way around the outside. I said, I have no idea what's going to happen as far as design on the inside of this. Like over here on my left. 
I know it's going to be uh, some factory machines and stuff, but that's all going to be embedded in the walls. So said it's going to be going to be there. I just don't know quite how. Oh, I should also crush up some charcoal. Because crushed charcoal is a thing. All right, first off, deep slates. Grab some more of this. It's not there here. I need more polished deep slate that way. And charcoal. Yeah, because I'm going to need some more dye to make all of this happy. So I'll deal with that in a minute. Yeah, because you can't make great glass without great dye. And Create Mod has a, an option where if you crush charcoal, you can get um, black dye and um, actually even some gray. I think charcoal gives you light gray and regular coal gives you dark gray or regular gray, I suppose it is. Okay. But if we crush the charcoal... Yeah, see, it gives us all the black dye and a little bit of gray, which is perfect because I need the gray. All right, let's um, bring this up here this way. Two, five. And try not to fall in the crusher because that would be really ridiculous and stupid and also painful. It turns out that would that would do bad things to my bones. Actually, it's fun because of the some of the create mod stuff. I could actually build a waterfall out of honey. I wouldn't even need the honey blocks. I could just use honey, which would be its own special breed of fun. And chocolate. I mean, I could go full Willy Wonka on this, you know, madness, right? Okay, I don't have enough deep slate to continue around the outside, but that's okay. I'll deal with that in a minute. Turn that off. All right. Let's cook up some glass and we'll get some more deep slate. Smelting glass. Okay, I think I'm done with the diorite floors for now. Okay, deep slate. Nice. We'll grab a couple of stacks and just polish those up. Okay. Yeah, I think this is going to be fun. Now, where things are going to get a little interesting is what's going to happen up here on what's sort of the second floor. Oops, that's not where that goes. Eat my ratatouille. All right. Because I've got, obviously, the, uh, you know, my furnace is up there with the uh, sugar cane. I'm, this room may just be taller. In fact, I might even take this bar out. But we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we get there. Okay. Yeah, I've got a couple of places where I need to... I need to decorate the uh, decorate the machinery here a little bit, and if that's brick. I need this. All right, because so I'd really like to basically build that machinery up to whatever the ceiling is here, and that I don't know what it's going to be. I mean, I could continue with the diorite and just do diorite ceiling, but I think I want something a little bit different. And I could do something like smooth stone. Andesite would be fun, but um, like polished andesite blocks or something like that. But I need andesite. Tough might be a better choice, actually. Because I could do tough blocks. 
Yeah, because the, the polished tough has a good texture to it. All right. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And I think right here, we'll drop in another one of those. Cool. And then let's get 18 trillion uh, uh, walls, I think. That's, that's what I'm gonna need to do. Walls. Walls, okay. Deep slates. All right, because I've got, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna need a bunch of these. Now, actually, I'm probably not gonna need as many as I'm crafting because I really do actually want a lot of glass as uh, part of this. So maybe I'll wait on that. Um, all right, so glass I've got. Uh, actually, let's make some yeah, so I've got some gray dye. All right, cool. So let's make some, let's make some gray glass. Okay, it's not a lot, but if I now turn this into gray stain, stained glass like that, that should be sufficient, I think. At least for a little while. If I need more, I know where to get more. All right. So since I'm right here, let's go ahead and top up my food. Okay. Glad that's almost gone. I'll go back to vegetable stew, soup. You get more, uh, get more nourishment from that. Okay, this is all gonna have to come out here too. Yeah, because windows are cool. Now, what I don't know is, this, as I said, when I was putting this together, I have, I have a feeling I may build this out, this section out, and do some more uh, production of some sort. I don't know what, but definitely some more, probably it would be food production, because that's what this is going to do. Um, right, some of the equipment to make things, make food and stuff. And I, you know, and I don't know quite how I want to do this, right? So, you know, it's going to be an interesting challenge. Um, yeah, part of me is like, hey, um, what do I want to do with this? And I just don't know. I do know I'm going to Apparently carve this hill out and we'll deal with some landscaping and stuff later. But for now, let's go ahead and get some walls. This is going to be a really um, scattered time lapse. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. That's covered. Wonderful. Okay. Nope. That's not... That's not wonderful. That's not where that goes. Not even a little bit. All right. This is all going to come down like that. All right. And yeah, I just want to fill in right to there. Okay. Because there's, there's machinery there, so there's no reason to uh, have a window. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be solid. This is going to be a wall of some sort. Okay. Well, actually, I know what the, even what the sort is, it's going to be glass. Because glass is definitely a thing. But I need to sleep. Where's my bed? Yeah, so some of this, I kind of wish, well, I'll have to see. Because there's, I so said lighting is an issue. Um, as I come around here, so I may have to deal with some lighting. What I'd like to do is get some frog lights, but that's, I've got glass, but, or I've got glass, I've got a frog, 
And I think I've got, there's a, I know where there's a mangrove swamp, it's just right nearby. So I can probably get more frogs, which would be great, but... I'm gonna... Boy, there's a lot of this hill that's going away. Um, actually, let's do it this way. But frog lights give a really nice light, especially behind a trap door. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do is, at least for now... Yeah, let's... One, two, three, four, five. Right there. Oops, that, uh, there's a piece of glass there. Cool. Uh, I don't have silk touch, so... It's the sound of failure every time I do that. But, it's fine. I'm... I'm getting... I'm sort of at a point where I can... I can get all the glass and stuff, it's just I don't have any automation in place for it yet. But I can throw cobblestone into the crusher and get gravel, put gravel into the crusher and get sand, and then throw sand into the furnace and get uh, well, glass. You know, I'm putting this all the way down to the ground. I'm not entirely sure that's the way to go, but we're going to do it for now. That's, that's what I've decided. Yeah, so this is just going to be a window onto the... into the that factory floor with whatever ends up being down there. However that works. And I'm, so kind of what I'm thinking is I'm going to have some machines down there that do slicing and cooking and all that good stuff, right? And I actually want this. Anyway, I'm gonna so I'm gonna have the machines out there so I can look and you can see as the raw food goes running through here to get processed. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but the reality is there aren't that many raw foods. That have to go get all of that uh, sliciness and stuff happening. So I, I suspect that's not going to be as much of an issue. That's, however, is in the wrong place. Okay. I really need to not misclick with the glass because, again, that aforementioned lack of. Uh, Silk touch means I'm losing all of that glass. Okay, so whatever is going to happen here, we'll be able to see it. Yep, unfortunately, none of my toolsmiths gave me uh, silk touch on, on a pickaxe, so. And I had one that did fortune, but... He got eaten by zombies, and it was really sad. So, unfortunately, his replacement does not have the skill set. Uh, glass paints are a pain. They're the right block to use here, but they are absolutely a pain. And yes, the pun is there for all to uh, abuse, and that's just fine. Just because a pun is easy to make doesn't mean it's bad. Okay. We just uh, get broke. Okay. Oh, yep, that's right. This one is... So yeah, so that's looking pretty okay. So I'll build this machine up. I think probably what I should do is use wall here. Okay. And then glass on this side. Oh yeah. This is... 
All right, how am I doing on glass? I've got some, not nearly enough. <clears throat> All right, yeah, that wall, it's gonna be glass. I should probably throw in some uh, pillars there just to, and just to break things up a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and get some, I know I've got plenty of cobblestone. Oh, so I don't need the vaults, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that dance as we'll do the cobble to gravel to sand dance. Okay. Crush, crush, crush. All right. And I think, so this is a fairly good size wall. So one, two, three, four, five. So we'll put a couple of pillars here again, just to break things up a little bit. Two, three, four, five. No. Yeah, that's gonna be better. And yes, it would be nice, I suppose, to uh, maybe put some solid bits and bobs in there too. I don't know, but mostly I just want this to be a window to look out at uh, what's going on. Just because this is a, a factory workshop doesn't mean it shouldn't look pretty. You know, I think that's that's what miss, is missing from modern factories is they don't look pretty. And it probably would improve efficiency or something if they were pretty, right? I, isn't that how that works? Prettiness equals efficiency? I'm, I'm, this is what I'm told, right? From, from uh, interior designers everywhere, if your building isn't pretty, you're not going to be efficient. And you know, actually, I'm joking, but there actually there probably is a little bit of truth to that, to be honest. You know, because if your uh, if your work environment is just dark and drab and you know just horrible. <laughs> I can see how it might be a little demotivating, right? I don't know if any of you have ever seen the movie Joe versus the Volcano. Yeah, that type of... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's just do this. We'll just bring that down this way. Um, and... But yeah, that's definitely one of those where it's like, oh yeah, you work in this dreary office, your whole whatever. Yep, things are gonna get ugly. All right, so see, I kind of want to look in. Maybe let's. This is gonna be. No, oh, this is gonna be messy. How do I want to do this? I want to see part of it, but just looking at the solid roofs of the copper is not gonna be great. So let's do this. Two, three. There we go do that and let's take the we'll just make this solid okay okay so that'll go that way now this it's gonna be a little bit messy I suppose I could put another another one of these on this side just for the sym symmetry of it. I mean, and that would be okay, I guess. Um, but for now, let's just fill this in. And maybe I'll take... Oh, I still have some of those trap doors. Cool. Yeah, we'll just... We'll just do trap doors that way. And unfortunately on the back of that is kind of there. All right, that'll work. <laughs> now I have just blocked off one of the power towers here, but 
that's okay. I do have the power then running under the floor here, so I can get to whatever it's going that way. Okay, and then, yeah, then this will all be glass, and it'll be great. And I hope I'm going to have enough glass. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. I think it'll be okay, but definitely going to be close. Yeah, just right across this way. All right, now, so I've been doing the solid glass. This is having a very classical look to it, which is sort of interesting. Um, I was going to say modern, and it does have a little bit of it, but it also has a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, so it's a little bit more of a class. Maybe it's the pillars that are doing it for me. I don't know. I never studied architecture, so it's not like I know the names of all of this stuff. All right. I am sort of tempted in a few places. This is probably the wrong place to do it. But in uh, season two of Going Hard, I had a I had a build that had uh, glass and iron bars that were sort of split, right? That there'd be glass panes and then there'd be iron bars in the middle. And that looks kind of cool, but I think it would be the wrong look for this. All right, now this one, I think I'm gonna just wall this one in because that's just not gonna look cool. So, Okay. Oh, my cat is wanting attention. Hmm. Let me, let me change that. I put that uh, crimson in there with the expectation that that would be uh, that there would be glass there. Since it's not, I may I may want to change those pillars. Okay, yeah, it's going to take that out. And kind of do that instead. I'm mean, not that this is a bad look. It's just... Uh, I think it's not quite what I want to do here. So, take that out. Take this out. Okay. Grab the crimson site, and we'll just bring this down this way. All right, just like that. Okay, so from the inside anyway, that looks great. From the outside, well, it looks. <laughs> it, it's there. Well, I'll worry about the inside of this area in a little bit, but yeah, I think, yeah, doing the water wheel thing here would look really cool, so. Live action version of the Clone Wars or the animated version of the prequel tr trilogy? Animated prequel. Part of the reason that the uh, Clone Wars works so well is you had the, because it was animated, you weren't limited by actors and what an actor can physically do. Okay. Nice, so this is good, and then I would need to get out here and do some more glass, but I have to do more glass. Okay, yeah, that's it's that's big, but I I can live with that. Gravel, just cook that up again. Crush that all up in the sand. Oh, see, the nice thing is this goes really fast. So I'm I'm okay with that. I don't know that I have enough uh, inventory space for all of this. Okay, well that's fine. We'll just take that for the time being. And we'll get this cooking. All right. 
glass. Because, yeah, I've, I should have, yeah, this much glass. Okay, and, well, that's just about all the glass. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, see, there it is, starting to cook. All right, let's, uh, let's turn that gray. Okay. And that's all the gray I've dye I've got at the moment. Cool. That should be fine. That should be fine for now. Um, I have a crafting table so I can craft up more panes over here. Okay. Now, as I said, I think I'm going to block that in. So I think that's going to look better. Like, like it is actually a window into whatever else is going on. All right. And that's fine. I mean, I guess I, I could try to corner that, but I'm going to leave it that way. I think that'll be okay. So I'm fairly certain this glass wall is going to be taken out at some point. Yeah. Oh, man. This would be... Let's might as well just come over here and grab the panes. Um... Last panes. There we go. That'll work. Okay. Yeah, I want to... I'm going to take this out because I want this to be taller. But let's... Let's just fill this one in, and I'll worry about the other side later. I need to figure out a little bit more of what's happening over there before I really get crazy with the glass. Especially, again, since I don't have silk touch and can't uh, recover the glass that when it breaks. Okay. Not that I don't have all sorts of production of stuff, but... Bone meal and uh, obviously I can make charcoal all day. So, all right, cool. So that is now the walls. I said I need to figure out some form of roof or something for this, but honestly, I have no idea what I want to do. Whatever it need, it ah, whatever I do here needs to be spawn proof uh, because I I. Don't want to. I don't think I want to go in and light up the whole thing. So, coming across the top with some some other slabs of something, I think would be kind of nice. I could do deep slates here around the edges, and then something else in the middle. I don't know. Something. Something could definitely be done there. Okay, cool. So that's all doing its thing. Um, all right, yeah, yeah. What to do for the ceiling here? This is looking very imperial, right? Speaking of Star Wars, uh, this is very much looks like so, some form of, uh, yeah, of Im yeah, something from the Empire, but <laughs> I guess that's okay, you know, but all right, so we got the gray glass in. I said I need to do that, but that's okay. Um, light should be good, at least in this corner. And light should be good back here. This area is going to be a problem because of a lack of walls to hide, hide light behind. So that's going to be something fun to deal with. Um, okay. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and stop that recording. All right. So let's go ahead and throw the glass back in there. Now, I know I'm going to need some more viridium. Um, 
So we'll grab that. Now, some of this I'm absolutely positive I'm going to need some cut viridium stairs. Okay. Now, as far as the rest of this goes, definitely going to need some more blocks too. So let's go ahead and get some cut viridium blocks. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with the rest of this stuff. Yeah, probably don't with the chest. Definitely don't with the die. Okay. Oh, I need a casing. Do I have an andesite casing? I do. Cool. All right, where's my wrench? Oh, I don't need a wrench. I just smash it. Okay. Nice. So the good news is if I can keep this area lit, at least I don't have to worry about things walking in on it for the most part. Until I, at least, I do have the issue over there, but got to get into it somehow. All right, so let's start with this machine. First off, I need to case that, and then we'll do that. Okay, cool. That's looking fine. Um... This one is pretty, pretty compact given what it does. So let's do this. I'm going to bring, bring this over the top. Cause I think what I'm going to do is whatever else happens, uh, it's going to interface with the ceiling with the, the same block. Okay. All right, now I do want to get back here. Let's see, I think let's uh, let's do this. I'm gonna take some viridi. Um, no, I've been using the stone back behind the stuff there, so I'm gonna do it this way. Yeah, let's, oops, let's take this one out. All right. Okay, so that's going to go in that way, and then what I need to do is, yeah, okay, I, I see what I need to do, is I need to get back here with some, now the problem with it, I suppose, is there's a lot of uh, deep slate here, but I think that's going to be okay, I think I can take that out. I just want to be able to, when I look through this window, it looks finished, right? It looks like everything is uh, where it should be, and it's not like holes sticking out into, uh, into grass and stuff from here. So I think that's looking okay. And then what I can do is... Yeah, let's, I've got some Viridium stairs on me. Okay. This is the whole reason I, I made these, right? Is I could come in with some Viridium stairs upside down, right? Cause that's going to cover that. Um, How do I want to do this? Let's come in with the blocks. This is this is gonna be super boring as far as the outer wall of this goes, but I think I can go with it. So that's gonna go like that. Um Yeah, you know what? Let's just I'm just gonna continue this around this way. All right, and then, oh, this this will be perfect. Um, I need to get some glowstone. I need to get a lot of glowstone. So let's inventory space is okay. Let's get some iron. All 
Okay. Um, iron. Okay, that should be okay. Actually, I'm going to pause that. Up here. All right. Hello, gang. Let's open up the shop. I'm actually half tempted to uh, set up some form of switch to hit that I can open the shop and then close all of this again. It would 100% be doable. Okay, those guys do not do iron for some reason. Those are Fletchers. Okay. All right, so you and you. All right, and and I'm out of... Oh, did you guys light up your trades again? Ah, perfect. Okay, not a lot of money, but... It's enough that I can come over here and trade up with these guys. Okay, they're not masters yet. Just like Anakin Skywalker. Alright, cool. So that should do what I need to do there. Alright, I've got 28 glowstones, so that's going to be cool. So yeah, this is going to make this... A little bit better here. I think there'll be a few places in here where I can do this. It's going to look good. All right. Go ahead and resume the recording. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do is let's take some walls here. Ah, jeez, monkeys. I'm out of walls. All right. Uh, brick walls. Boom. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring these walls in like this. Okay. And I'm going to drop in a little glowstone right there. And then we'll just run all of this wall here like this. Okay. And now we should have a fair amount of light coming from that. Not crazy amounts of light, but some. This side's going to benefit from that torch being over there. All right, which is great. All right, so now let's come out here with our stairs. Okay, so this, let's go ahead and put a block here. All right. And I could take these out. I think I could take those out. Does that look okay? No, I I think I'm going to need them in there. Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. So, block there like that. Oh, I can't because there's a switch. That's that's fine. I think that's that's great. All right, cool. So, get uh, all of this coming through here. The rain is not as helpful as it could be, but it's fine. Okay, yeah, see, this is going to be... Oops, that's facing the wrong way. But yeah, this is going to be great. So, get this in there, get that in there. That's a switch, so can't do anything about that. Those are okay. Okay. Yeah, I think this will... That'll look a little bit better. Um, yeah, let's move these. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to move them yet, but something's going to move. All right. And I think maybe what I'll do is... Let's... Maybe I'll just move them out here. That's fine. I mean, it's not like it's... Super... You know, crazy big deal or anything like that. Just, uh... Yeah, just kind of moving like that. All right. 
Yeah, so the saw is going and doing its thing. All right. Nice. I do need to do one thing here. Let's get a barrel and let's get um, a chute. Okay. I need a singular chute. Awesome. And a barrel. Okay. Just one barrel. Okay. Great. Because what I need to do up here is I need a way of loading up a bunch of stuff. So, because basically what I need is uh, barrel goes right here. Okay. As I need to be able to load in things that are going to feed down to this uh, deployer. Okay, so I need to be able to reach up and hit that. All right, which is awesome. Now, the other thing I'm, I'm going to need then is... Do I have any other of those? Anything else around here that's going to be like that? No, that's a smasher, so it's okay. Um, right. Okay, cool. So let's come up here then. And, oh yeah, light all along the top of this stuff. Cool. Yeah, that's going to be a, a challenge. Not too crazy, but definitely a challenge. Um, yeah, so I think what I'll do is let's... I'm going to come up like this and say one, two, three. Yeah. I'm going to keep sort of the same deal here okay well this is going to come this way and i'll definitely do this much okay right so this is all going to come across here like this where things are going to get said funky is in the corners right because i've got nothing going on in the corner so i could drop uh yeah, so I should be able to drop uh, blocks or other things in there as I need to. Right, and then this is going to come up this way, right? All of the fun and excitement, and this is the most fun and exciting ever. Yeah. Okay. So I can pull these guys in here like this. All right, that's easy. Right, and I can take some glowstone and slap it down here, okay? That'll provide all of the light I need, or I should provide all of the light I need. And then coming around this, let's... Hmm. I've got a couple of these places where I've got like the piston part here that goes up and down. I'd like to block that off, I think cover it with something so let's take the bricks um okay i guess i can do bricks like that um does that that look okay that's okay is it fabulous eh, but it's okay um i wonder if I'm going to take that and yeah, okay, and then just trying to get stairs to do what I want them to do, which is always a fun challenge, right? All right, and then let's come in this way and get, again, I don't have... Silk touch, so be a little careful about what I break. Yeah, see, that's looking better. As a, is that solid there? Yeah, I'll need to do the same thing, I think, over here on the other side. But I think over here, I'm going to go ahead and just use the wall. Okay. Now over here. Let's hop back up and 
We'll do the same magic over here. Because I want this... Take that out for a minute. Because I want this... Uh, locked to come down like that. This is going to be temporary. Okay. Okay. Nice. So that's going to come down here like that. Now, I can see a little bit behind that uh, chute. In fact, I'm going to open it up even. And then let's come back here. I'm going to drop a little bit of uh, let's drop a viridium block back here, which I think I don't have redstone on it. So cool. Nice. And then we'll do something similar over here down yeah see that's going to provide some nice light coming through all right cool now i suppose i could come in with some trap doors and stuff to cover up a lot of this but i think that's gonna be okay now this one this one's going to be a little bit different. Okay. And mostly because of how big it is anyway. Right? Because this is all... Right? One, two, three, four, five blocks high. And so is this. So, I think what I might do... All right. So, first of all, we're going to come in here with the uh, polished deep slate. Right, because this all of it was going to interface with this anyway. Again, this is the the interface with the ceiling. It's going to be this. Okay. Okay, so that should be fairly straightforward. Now, I think what I might do is let's see. Let's come down here. I want to take some viridium right there okay and just to make life a little bit happier let's go just drop a torch in there just in case okay all right um you know what i'm gonna have to run to the restroom real quick i will be back in just a moment Okay, I am back. I'm also on the wrong scene. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We got this. We got this. All right. So, what I could do now. So, this whole thing is a little bit fun. So, if I want to continue that theme, really what I should do is take this viridium off here though so, actually maybe i'll leave that one those in the the corners and uh 
Let's take this out. Okay, and yeah, this this could be it's a special breed of fun here. It's good. Take this out. I think what I'm going to do is then put in the walls. So this, yeah. I know what I'm going to do. I think. Fairly confident. I have a marginal amount of confidence in what I'm doing. Which uh, is actually not too bad. Some days you want, like, overflowing confidence. Today is definitely a... Yeah, I, I think I know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, no. This is, that's not going to work. Um, right. Okay. No, this is going to work fine. I can absolutely make it work fine because I said so. Yeah, that'll go like that. Okay. Cool. And yeah, I think just to, that'll make things work a little bit. All right, and then as I come around here, yeah, that's going to, I'll leave that in there just to frame those barrels and stuff a little bit. Oh, right, and I did want to leave the, so it must be stairs, okay. Um, I do want to leave the blocks, uh, the viridium here around the deal. Cool, so then I can run out of walls. Awesome. Let's go craft some walls. Or stone cut some walls, anyway. Deep plate bricks. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and just do a bowl stack. All right. Now, I think this is going to make... I think it's going to make this look okay. Um, I've definitely have some issues with in a couple of places oops, where I need to figure out lighting and stuff, which is why I still have the light levels up. But yeah, okay. So that's an interesting thought. All right, but let's see. Grab my also some food. Okay, and I think I'm going to do the same design over here. Just a little bit of textury goodness. All right, and then that's going to be glowstone. This is going to be glowstone. And yeah, right? Sure. Okay. That is definitely a thing. Now over here, do the same thing. I'm gonna. Um, I can't do the same thing because I've got wall dealy bobs over there. Okay, that's fine. We'll bring this down. Okay, I think this is all going to be okay. So the, the real question is, what's it all going to look like when it's done? But. Yeah, because I'd like to put walls there, but because of this, I, and the backside of all this, I think I'm going to not, but... Okay, let's pop this off just for a minute so I can see what's going on. Okay. I'm just going to bring some brick across this way and... Yeah, because I'd like to get... Just take that out for a minute. Let's see. Let's see. Um, boy, what a mess. All right. Let's go ahead and just run that this way. Ah, let's do it like this. Do it like that. We'll run some wall through there. 
Wow, this is looking really broken. Um, maybe what I need to do is on this one, and I actually, I might want to do it on the others as well. Let's go ahead and just bring in the, yeah, this might be better. It sort of gives a little bit of framing. Okay, can't do much with that because it's the crafter. Okay, that's that's fine. And then what I could do is I can get up here. Oops, well, I'm I'm here now. Um and I could still put in it some glowstone right there. Okay. All right. Yeah, and so I've got I've got light. Okay, I don't have light over here, but At least for the rest of this stuff. Oh, it's your brother's B-Day. Nice. Well, happy birthday to your brother. Hope uh, his day is fun and exciting and awesome and stuff. Yeah, birthdays. Oops, that's Glowstone. Goodbye, Glowstone. You were lovely and beautiful once. Okay, I'm not entirely sure that's true, but at least it can feel that way about itself, and that's something. Yeah, that's looking better. Just take replacing these corners with the, the polished blocks. Nice. Yep, yep. Happy birthday to people. Alright. Yeah, so we've got this fun little gap here that's fun um oops, that's not happening oh sadly it was a miscarriage oh well that i guess he won't be eating cake today but yep i know how that that goes my uh yep, i still think about my daughter's birthday even though she died young so Okay. All right, I think this workshop is looking pretty okay. Um, so you know what? Let's let's do this. And let's. Um, yeah, no, it's okay. I mean, I said I I'm trying not. I don't want to like. It was. Shoot, it was a long time ago. Yeah, a little trapdoor action here. Looks really stupid. Okay, cool. It's almost 30 years ago now. Yeah, I don't like that. Which is kind of weird to think about. Not quite 30 years, but still. I'll just do it this way. So that goes in there. That goes in there. All right, yeah, some of these, the belt stop too, and some of them they don't, but I'm not quite as concerned about that, so that's fine. Yeah, I think this is going to be okay. I could so open those up, but you get the, uh, get the dealy bob with that. Technically get that here too so I guess it doesn't matter okay yeah thanks yeah this is I'm liking how this is starting to uh, to lay out here so I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for a ceiling and I don't think I want to do diorite because the diorite is definitely gonna be too it's gonna be too much okay But it's really looking good. And I think what will happen, too, is I'm going to build up around here. I said I have to be real careful what happens up here because I don't want free-range iron golems happening up here. So I just need to be careful about that. But, 
put yeah that's starting to look really nice i'm happy with this let's go ahead and stop that recording Oh yeah, this is really starting to take off. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I could have some all sorts of fun then when I do this. Let's um You're shocked how people can create these types of things in hardcore survival. Yeah. You know, it's it's a challenge <laughs> some days. See my 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 thing is I don't I don't like uh building things in creative first and then building them in survival, which is how you see a lot of YouTubers. Like a lot of the people on Hermitcraft will do that. They'll build their stuff in, in survive in creative and then build it in survival. I just get bored doing that. I'm tired of building the same thing multiple times. So wish I could do something different with that barrel, but I need the output to go somewhere and I can't make it go backwards. So, so that's fine. We can make that happen. Um, that's, I suppose I could make it drop down to a barrel there, but I don't want to mess with the floor. So, all right. So yeah, I need a, I'm going to need something. And then what I also want to do is the outside of this is looking crazy. But I think what I, I talked about it before is putting in um, a whole row of large water wheels down here. And tapping them into this line. And just continuing this. Heck, I might even, if I get this row of water wheels in place... I might take these ones out. That would actually make would make this a little bit easier. I'd still have all the power that I need. But yeah, the going hard series was incredible. Yeah, it was fun. I I made it a point in that one too to try to be decorative. <laughs> that was definitely a fun series. I like that one. I didn't quite like getting stabbed in the back by a vindicator, but the uh, but the rest of the series was fun. Okay, yeah, this is this is great. Okay, so I've got the garage, so so I can put my, park my drill here, and that's oh, this is facts. Just to see what this looks like. Because I'm really curious here. But yeah, that was a fun series. I... Okay, yeah. Okay, yep, and that can link up. Perfect. Everything here is awesome. And there's the drill parked in the garage. Nice. So yeah, what to do for a roof for a ceiling here? Um... I'm going to want something. I'm going to want something. That that much I, I'm pretty confident about. I'm going to want something. <laughs> All right. So what would be good? It should be. I don't want it to be ridiculously colorful. But bringing in some additional color might not be a bad thing. The problem is what? I mean, I could try to find some... Uh, well, I could try to find some more of that stuff. I could also try to go into the nether and find some uh, warped crimson stem. That could be a thing. Kind of want a spot that's like two blocks wide. I can just stick that bed in. Um, Strips Bruce. That's an idea. Steph oh, I don't have spruce. It's an excellent idea. I just don't have it. Because I don't have any spruce trees. I picked an area that had... Um, ended up having most of the trees I, I needed. But not all of them, sadly. But that is an excellent idea. Um... Ch -ch 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 
Let's try... Yeah, because you're right. Any any wood type would work. Um, it's just a matter of getting the colors right. So let's try some birch. Because I'm already using... This, this one, because I'm already using birch trapdoors here. So let's hop up here and... Okay, that's an interesting question. Do I want to put it here? All right, let's try it. Actually, let's try it from up top where it'll be easier to reach. I'm just going to do this one section. We'll see how this goes. Okay. All right. I'm going to fall down too because that's uh, that's definitely the way to, to do things. Come here. Okay. Checkerboards are, are a little bit of a pain, but I did it with the floor down there too, so can't can't complain too much. Okay. And I'll get up here and, and strip this in a minute. But let's just get this first row of stuff. That's going the wrong direction. Because, yeah, I do like the, the checkerboarded um, log look. It looks really good with um, oh, with some of those nether woods. But I think this might be the way to go. I mean, probably, yeah, probably strip it. I don't think the uh, this log... Is going to be the way to go, but, but yeah, stripped, I think is going to, no, I think you're right, Lauren. I think this is going to work. Um, all right. So we'll pop all of this stuff in like so, and so, and so, and so. I mean, I could just leave it like this, right? It, that's that's fine, right? No, the, the regular birch logs, totally. Actually, I like this pattern uh, in certain situations. You can you can do cool things with that, um, because it kind of looks like it might be like a like a rug of some sort. Um, I don't hate this. Not even, I haven't stripped it yet, obviously. But even unstripped, I don't hate that. Um, it's a little bit of a weird... It's, a, it's just a little bit weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to maybe do this elsewhere so I can put it stripped. <laughs> Just to be sure the colors are right, but all right, I'm going to strip a section of this. Okay. Now, what do you think of the of the birch there? I'm kind of thinking it's the wrong color. Just the regular the stripped birch logs. It kind of it feels like it's got the wrong temperature which is okay it just feels I'm mean, just given the the rest of this build it it no I don't like the I don't like the birch or at least I don't like the stripped birch okay wow all right Okay, we'll go ahead and take that out then. Um, yeah, because it's it's almost too too yellow. Okay, I mean that's that's fine. It's fine. 
So why do I feel like this is still the right choice here? Maybe because it's tying in with the whites without being too redundant. That might be good. I think if I do this, I'm going to want to break it up a little bit more as I come through here. But I, I'm really thinking this is going to be the way to go. That's just, that's just weird. But I mean, I can, I can live with that, but all right, let's go with weird. I mean, I'm, I'm down with weird. Let's, let's be weird. Um, yeah. Um, inventory. Cool. Let's, let's go get some more birch. This is I, seriously a really, really odd choice, but I mean, said I can live with odd choices, especially when they actually look good. So, yeah, <laughs> that is a surprise. I I do want to put some form of cap on the top of it, but um. Oh, this is perfect. I'm out of space in the storage down here. Let's go ahead and compost all of the... I need more tree storage. This is... Uh... <laughs> I need to... I need to deal with my wood problems here. Okay. Especially that, the oak, because I am actually going to need all of those apples. Okay. That's fine. I just need a lot more storage, which I can get. It's just, it's a thing. Wow. All of the silly blocks, but I like it. I really like it. This is, you know, this is a happy accident right here. I'm, <laughs> This is just, okay, so that's like, that's, all right. So they, come on, checkerboards are fun. Checkerboards are fun. Gonna have all the fun with the checkers. All right. All right, I'm gonna, hop up this way yeah now if I were using more bamboo potentially more of this yellow I could do some fun things with the uh, bamboo for ceilings but because uh, scaffolding makes uh, does make a really fun ceiling block but the the catch is you got to find the right place to put it because obviously you only have like seven blocks or something that you can use so you know before you have some sort of support for it but it can do really some really cool things all right well, just put the, in the, but yeah, I think a few places, and actually what I might do even on the inside is go underneath it with some um, deep slate slabs and give it a little bit of a, uh, ah, darn it. That's fine. I've got to sleep anyway. But just give it a little bit of a, Texture like sort of support beams or something Just something I don't know Wow I really really apparently need to put blocks there um Bed there it is Okay, no, this is this is great. I'll just come in with a few slabs underneath 
and I and I'm gonna slab over the entire top, but it's a fun trick with frog lamps, lanterns. Uh, when you put type of fence and then place the lamp on it. Oh, um. See, type of fence and put the lamp on it, put the wood button on top. Yeah, I think I know what you're describing. I'm not entirely sure I can visualize it. But frog lights are great for lighting. Um, I really need to get up on the nether roof and set up a frog light farm. I don't have any green frogs. I've got some, I've got an orange frog and I think there are some white ones over in the mangrove swamp over there somewhere. So I could breed up a few of those. I like the, the green ones, but actually the, uh, the other ones make for really nice lamps. One of my favorite lamp designs or like ceiling lights or anything like that is to take um, ochre frog lights. And you can use any of The verdant ones work really well for this too. And then put a mangrove trap door over them. Gives you a really... F and if you face it so that you get the, um, the top or the bottom of the frog light where it's got the circle, the mangrove pretty much covers up most of the the actual color part of the, the fringe around the circle. You get just a hint of it in the actual lamp itself, though it ends up being mostly white. And yeah, it looks like the fence goes through it. Yeah, yeah. I, I get that. Okay. But yeah, you end up with this really fun... Um, come on, I can do this. Got to find the right place to get over. But it's a really clean light, and the uh, the mangrove planks just look fabulous. Or the mangrove trap doors just look fabulous in that. Okay. Yeah. I definitely want to come under here with some... Uh, some stuff, but I think this is going to work. That, Yeah, I think this is going to work. I was thinking I might put the roof up one block higher. So let's think about that before I get too much further along on this project. Um, okay, what do we think about the logs being flush with the with the deep slate here so I'm kind of thinking I actually do want to might want to strip this out and raise it up one because I, I think I want to see this top row of of deep slate along the along here yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay. It's going to be a... I get to take all this out, but... I think it's going to look better. Alright, well, I think that might be something I get to do... Offline, but we'll get this in. So yeah, I think this is going to look at... Look pretty nice... What a weird block choice to end up looking good. Yeah, and actually, I think any of the regular woods I have, the jungle, the oak, the birch, even mangrove, perhaps especially mangrove. And I don't have a lot of mangrove. I don't have a farm for it. Um, but I think all of that, the mangrove would clash with the crimsite pillars that I have. But all of the woods, I think, are just, they almost look too warm, which is weird when I've got sort of a warm palette, but. Hmm. 
But yeah, I think this is going to work out a little bit better. If I raise this up one block. Okay. Let's hop down here, pick up my mess. Not sure what I'm going to do on the outside of this, but we'll worry about the inside first. I'm told it's what's inside that counts, and so I'm going to trust that that's actually true. Um, okay. I'm going to need those, but what I need to do, let's drop off that, and let's get... Yeah, it's just a... It's a little bit of a... It's a little bit of a thing. There are definitely... Definitely options. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is let's... I'm going to ring this this way. Okay. All right, let's strip the birch out again. And yeah, I think I'm going to... If I bring this up one... Actually, putting the slabs there was probably a mistake, but it's okay. They're an easy block to... I can I can pull them out. You know, that was one of the hardest things for me to uh, get used to in Minecraft, was that it was just taking out things when I didn't like them. It was almost like, I've built this and now it's permanent. And now it's, it's... Minecraft doesn't work that way. Like, very little in life works that way, but Minecraft in particular doesn't work that way. Alright, so let's raise this up a block, and... Yeah, we'll just do it this way. Of course... I'm going to put blocks. Blocks are going to be easier. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great. Actually, um, no, what would be really good here, sorry, I'm, I'm thinking ahead, which is probably a good thing. So I'm going to put some tiles here. Okay. Do some tile deep slate this way. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's funny you mention it without rules. Minecraft has rules, but... And I think that helps with the creativity, right? And the rules are not like, oh, you have to build this way or that way or the other. The rules are you have a, you're limited to blocks, right? You're limited in, by what blocks Minecraft gives you to work with. But I think that can really open up the creativity a little bit because you don't have as much of the, um, Creative paralysis, perhaps, or decision paralysis. Because, like, okay, I don't have every color in the spectrum of every shape in the spectrum, right? What you have are blocks and stairs and slabs and things. And so you can get all of the creative juices flowing. And I think, I said, sometimes it's a little bit easier because... Because... We, there are some of these limitations of, you know, blocks and slabs and stairs and things. Like, I don't draw well, okay? I'm, I'm not that type of artist. Yes, that was the way to go. That's the way to go. And I'll, uh... And then continuing some of this stuff this way and things like that. Yeah, vertical slabs would be nice. I would be happy with some vertical slabs. Just because there are a few, there are a few places like walls kind of fit that purpose sometimes, but man, there are times where I just I the wall shape is just wrong. Now, I don't think Minecraft will, will ever... I don't think Mojang will add vertical slabs to Minecraft. Um, as 
nice as it might be, I don't think they're going to do it. I think they're... I think they're maybe a little bit concerned maybe about the sort of where things go. There may be some technical limitations, which wouldn't surprise me. Um, you know, I know there are some modders that have added vertical slabs and things like that, but oh, let's go sleep. But yeah, there are definitely a few places where like, I this is, this is really the look I want, and it's Sometimes you can pull it off and sometimes you can't, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, sometimes walls give you just what you need, and sometimes it's like, eh, ah, okay, cool. Uh, scaffolding, I still have some, cool. It's nice to know I still have things. All right. Okay, cool. It's not like I need those ankles. Grab some food. All right. You know, the one thing I had going for me in, uh, in the Create series was that I was in a savanna and it never rained. It's been raining a lot in this world. Now, I have to admit, I'm from Colorado, and it doesn't rain that much here. And so what happens in Minecraft is actually probably pretty close to reality as far as rain frequency. But, man, it seems like it rains a lot. Heck, right now I live in an actual desert, semi-arid desert, and yeah, it, it, we had 320 days of sunshine every year. <laughs> hey, Mikey, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Okay, oh, come on, down we go. I know, this is the weirdest choice of block, but man, it looks good. It looks... Oops, that's not where that's going to go. It looks good for the ceiling. And I... I Don't quite get it. But hey. You know, go with what works. Is this a server? It is not. Nope, this is a single player world. All right, well, I mean, heck, I'll accept birch as being a uh, more usable block than I was expecting sometimes. Uh, can you play? No, it's a single player world. It doesn't work that way. Cool. All right, so yeah, I'm going to have some blocks to clean out here in the garage. That's all right. Let's get around here. We'll run some deep slate along this. Can't see it, but deep slate is practically infinite, so I don't care if I end up wasting some. Because, heck, with my drill, I can end up cleaning out lots and lots of stuff, so... All right. Nice. This is going to take a while, but there we go. Once you end up with the right line, everything is, goes a little bit faster. Uh, swift sneak leggings would be really convenient here. Okay. Um... Not much longer, probably. Um, I do have stuff I need to get done, and but let's 
let's finish this one section. I'm going to add a little bit of stuff underneath and we'll see what this looks like. Cause I think this is going to be, I think this is ultimately going to look really cool, but I want to play with the underside here. Yeah. I fixed my stove. Yeah. I fixed my stove, go grocery shopping. Um, got a friend is going to come over here later this afternoon too. So, you know, All that good stuff, you know, just stuff happens. All right. Cool. So, yeah, and if I were to come in here with some slabs and let's bring some slabs over. Oh, of course, it doesn't line up, but that's okay. All right, yeah, this is, in fact, I might bring that over a little bit more. The fact that I didn't line everything up kind of screws things up just a touch, but. All right, yeah, this is off to, <laughs> that one's going to be a problem, but we'll uh, worry about that one in a little bit. Man, sorry, I just can't get over the fact that this uh, regular birch log actually is kind of working. I, you know what it kind of looks like? It looks like some of the old school drop ceilings. All right. I think maybe what I should do here, let's, let's move this. But you know the drop ceilings you, you'd see in like schools and things like that. It kind of looks like that. It's got a little bit of that vibe to it. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit better. This is a little funky and that's okay. But yeah, I think this is going to work. Holy random block choices, Batman. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, this is, this, it just blows my mind. <laughs> but look at this though. I love it. I, I, I don't hate me here, but I love this. This is, oh, this is really cool. Now up top, I think what I'm going to do is yeah it's going to take this out i think what i'll do is i'll go ahead and continue this along this way but then come in with the um, slabs here i might just slab over that too just for right but or on slabs like this this way it'll all stay uh, spawn proof and it will hide the logs Okay, but something like that, I think will will work, and that'll be a, a fairly nice roof here. I so said I could get up here and do a little bit more, but for now I'm going with a little bit of an industrial-ish sort of modern look. So I can live with that. I may change change that, but for now. For now, this is going to work just fine. Oh, this is just bizarre, but okay, okay, okay. Well, I will have to get in and finish the roof, but I think I'm actually going to be calling it for now. This has been, it's been about three hours and my I'm actually feeling it. My voice is starting to give out, so. Whew. Yeah, <laughs> weird. <laughs> but okay. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Everything is great. <sighs> all right. So definitely want to thank all of you for <laughs> hanging out today. It's been fun. Um, To reiterate what I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, 
Uh, I think I'm going to take most of next week off of streaming. I'll probably stream Tuesday, but Thanksgiving, I'll, I'll be off. And I think I'm going to take Saturday off too. So, so yeah, it'll be fun. And I'm, ah, it'll be good. I kind of could use the, the break, but which is weird because I, I love streaming. I don't necessarily like taking breaks from it, but I think I need a little bit of time to catch up. Plus, we've got Christmas decorations to put up after Thanksgiving. So, you know, that'll be fun. But uh, that will do it. So until next time, of course, uh, follow me over on all the socials and that good stuff. Um, you know, turn on notifications so you get all the goodies when I do go live. Follow Discord. We can chat and have all that good stuff. And thank you all for hanging out here. It's been it's been great. And for weird happy accidents like birch log roofs or ceilings, I'm I'm down for it. So until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.